The below program is written to perform different operations in a bank. Go through the code and identify functions that can be written and modularize the code. Group the appropriate codes into the identified functions. Sample input is given and there is the expected output. Account list, balance list, transaction type, amount, account number, all that is given. So if they give a transaction type is a withdrawal and amount is 4000 and account number is 403, we know that 403 has a balance of 8000. When they withdraw 4000, then the balance should be 4000. Transaction completed successfully. That's the message they should get. Identify functions that can be written and modularized in the code. So if we look at this code, right, starting with account list and uh, it has a flag, transaction type and all it has, but it is not properly organized. So they want you to modularize as you wish, right? There is no specific uh, thing is being followed. But you may do better better job than me, what I have done here, what I am going to do currently. So we will have to modelize, put things into functions, separate things, put things into functions so that the code looks neat and clean and it also helps you to identify bugs whenever it rises. This code works well, it gives us a um, transaction completed successfully message and in fact, and we say account number 1003 and amount 1000 and withdraw. So 1003 has 7000, if you withdraw 1000, it will be 6000. So it gives us right answer, though it gives us right answer, but it is not modularized, it is not properly uh, for, uh, separated as a pieces. So we are going to do that now. You may try your own method, you, you may follow your own ideas for this. So we will uh, do it this way, we, first of all we are going to validate the account number and transaction type. If both are valid, then we will perform the operation. So first is the first and foremost method valid account number and transaction type. So this is the first and foremost method we have mentioned here valid account number and transaction type. So uh, I am going to uh, validate the account number which is being given one by one. If it is valid then we will take which type of transaction we are going to perform. It is going to be withdraw then I have a separate function called withdraw transaction then deposit transaction then balance inquiry. Right? Uh, since the account number and the transaction type is uh, you know is coming under global frame you can access it, you can access it from anywhere right so if any of these conditions are not met right we first check uh, account number we take index by index right account list of index first element if any of the number uh, matches Right, the given account number, if it matches with any of the number in the list, then we will process the operation. That is what we have done here. We are checking it here. If it is so, we say the flag is true, then we proceed. If flag is true, then the next time we go for a transaction type. Then we have separate uh, uh, module for a transaction by transaction. We take amount, account number and value. So this is the way it is being written. You can actually take amount and value alone. Um, and the rest is fine because the account number and all that is already available here in the global frame. So go through the code and try to understand. If you are still not able to um, follow it up, let me know. Please comment on the comment section. I will be more than glad to help you. So this is one of the ways of modularizing the given content, given code, you can also use your own different methods to modularize the code.